All right, guys, I'm going to hit you all with a serious question right off the bat today. Is Denji the most relatable character? Main character right now in, like, shonen shows. Because I, too, just want to touch some boobs. <laughs> like, what the f This episode was ridiculous, but it was so good. Why was this so good? Wow, this was an amazing follow-up episode that we had today. I think I like this week's episode, like, a lot more than last week. Because I think this show has done an excellent job of just throwing us in there. Literally throwing us into the deep end. Like, alright, uh, now you're a part of this, and you're gonna work with this person. Oh, but you're gonna have this partner, and you're gonna do this. Oh, and if you don't do what we say, we're gonna kill you. Alright, good luck. And it's just like, wait, what? Oh, by the way, I own you. I own you, by the way. You're my property now. Like, like what? wait, what? Like, this show has done a great job of just making you really like the characters right off the bat. And I'm loving it. So without further ado, enough talking. Let's just get straight into it and talk about Chainsaw Man Episode 2 today. Because it was phenomenal. So our episode today literally begins on the drive back from our previous episode. And our boy Denji is hungry, man. Killing all those devils really works up an appetite. As Makama asks him, all right, what's your name? He says, yo, I'm Denji. She says, I need to tell you something right now. From now on, you're in my care, Denji. I expect yes or wolf for answers. I don't need a dog that says no. She says that someone in forensics once told me that when you get dogs that aren't helpful, you put them down. Denji's like, yo, I thought she was nice. I kind of liked her. I had no idea she was scary like this. She's treating me like a damn dog. As he remembers that, oh man, Pochit is dead. That's right. And he gets really depressed about that. As would I, man. She tells him, all right, we haven't had breakfast yet either. Let's go grab something at the rest area. Denji's like, yo, that sounds kind of nice, but I don't got any cash on me. She's like, just get what you want. I got it. She's like, oh, and you're conspicuous without a shirt on, so wear this. As she hands him her coat. Denji's taken aback, saying, all my life, people have avoided me, saying I'm filthy and smell bad. No one's ever been this nice to me before, much less a girl who looks this good. I love her. Our boy Denji is smitten right now. <laughs> So as they're there at the rest stop getting food, Denji actually faints a little bit. But, uh, I don't think he's too troubled by it, to say the least. As he snaps out of it and says, yo, sorry about that. The chainsaws cut me up too, so I think I'm a little low on blood right now. She asks him, like, how did you end up like this? And he tells her that I had a pet devil and he replaced my heart. Kind of hard to believe, huh? As she tells him that there's not a lot of precedent for your condition. Even from a historical perspective, it doesn't even have a name. So, I believe you. I've got a particularly good sense of smell. And I'm gonna be real, man. If she didn't believe him after what happened in last week's episode, I'd be like, nah, no way. No freaking way. You saw him be a chainsaw and all that. You literally see him have a ripcord out of his chest and you could be like, oh no, I don't know if I believe you. Um, I'm glad. I was gonna say... She tells him that your best friend is alive inside of you, and not in a sentimental sense either. Your body has the sense of both a human and a devil. Now Denji's super happy about that, that Pochita is alive, but he actually passes out again in this situation, only to wake up with Makima just staring down at him. And he wakes up and the first thing he says is, yo, where's my food? My food, is it here? My food. He actually asks her if he can eat this food because that's how bad he's had it. That he actually has to ask her if he's allowed to eat it. And she says, are you all right? Can you eat on his on your own? And he says, yeah, I can do that. And then he's like, wait, wait a minute. No, I can't. I, I can't eat on my own. Denji! Oh, I love Denji, man. <laughs> that's hilarious. He's like, no, I can't. Why don't you come help me a little bit? <laughs> And she actually starts feeding him here. And I guarantee you, a lot of y'all in the fandom would be wolfing too, just like Denji. <laughs> Denji actually asks her, like, what's your name? And she tells him, it's Makima. 
And our boy doesn't waste any time. He's like, Miss Makima, is there a type of guy you like? She thinks for a second and then looks him in the eyes and says, I'm into the Denji type. He's like, Denji? Dude, that's me. Guys, I love Denji so much. This clueless idiot, man. What a finesser Makima is. What a finesser. She's got him so wrapped around her finger. It's crazy. Our boy is head over heels. Just a look on his face in this next scene says it all, man. As she ends up taking him to the Tokyo headquarters for the Devil Hunters. As she explains to him that there are over a thousand Devil Hunters in Tokyo, including civilians. But public safety has the best benefits and a lot of paid vacation time. Denji's in his own little world right now. He's like, if Miss Makima likes me, then maybe if we work together, we'll eventually get together? And if we get together, then we can get together, if you know what I mean. He's like, yo, I want that so bad. I want to get together real bad. <laughs> I love that he's just so upfront and honest about it, man. I love that. We're not beating around the bush. He's going for what he wants. I can appreciate that in an MC. Now, she actually ends up handing him a uniform. And as he's getting changed into it, she introduces him to Aki Hayakawa, a fellow co-worker. As she tells Denji that, yeah, you're going to be shadowing him today. Denji's like, yo, what? I'm not working with you? As Aki actually drags him off and says, yo, you're not even in her league. As he's getting dragged off, he's literally throwing a fit like a kid. Like, nah, man, I want to work with her and not you. What the hell? So she actually approaches him and says, if you do a good job, we can work together someday. As she actually starts tying his tie for him. And Aki actually does a look back and he looks pretty freaking heated right here. He's like, yo, this motherfucker really getting his tie tied by her? As she says, so, do a good job, okay? And our boy Denji is so head over heels. It's wild, man. She is such a finesser. But at the same time, can you really blame him? Think of it this way. It's literally like all his dreams and aspirations wrapped up in the one person and just presented in front of him. Of course he's going to be head over heels for her. It's literally like, yo, my dream person is standing in front of me. I want her. I want her bad. <laughs> so as they're out patrolling, Denji actually asks Aki like, so, uh, Miss Makima, she got a boyfriend? You know, I'm just, just a little curious. No, no big deal. Aki tells him, all right, hey, come with me for a sec, man. Takes him to a back alley and beats the shit out of him. Just starts beating his ass, throws him in the trash, and tells him, you need to quit this job. Show up tomorrow and I'll kick your ass again. Denji literally asks him why. And he's like, people who start this job without thinking it through end up dead. I've had colleagues who've gotten into devil hunting for the payday and it got them all killed by devils. The survivors are the ones with real motivation. He asks him, you're just after Makima, right? That's why you took this job? Denji's like, ding dong, you got it right. And he tells him, then I'm glad I hit you. As he throws his cigarette on him and spits on top of it. Telling him that I'll let her know that you ran off, scared away by the devils. I know one thing, I certainly wouldn't take that shit. And neither does our boy Denji as he gets up and literally smashes Aki's nuts. And the look on his face is so priceless, bro. It's so funny. He tells him, yeah, you're a real nice guy, huh? As he just starts smashing his nuts with his foot, bro. As he says, because when I fight a dude, it's nuts or nothing. As he just completely destroys his family jewels, bro. Aki ain't having no kids ever. Then he tells him, I had Udon for the first time today, man. Got treated like a decent human being for the first time. And even had someone pay for my meal. It's like a dream come true for me. I didn't really think it through when I started devil hunting. But if I get to keep this kind of life... I don't care if it kills me. Then he tells him, oh, wait, well, wait a minute. It's not just my life anymore. Now, Aki's pissed as he gets up, tackles him, punches him in the face and says, Makima is not the kind of woman a punk like you should be chasing. Then she's just like, yo, what the hell are you saying? It sounds like you just like her too. As he smashes his nuts again. 
Bro, Aki! Aki, you should have known. If they go for it once, they're going to go for it again. Amateur mistake, Aki. As he slumps to the ground and says, You really did only aim for my balls. As he actually passes out from the pain. As Denji carries him back and says, The big guy's testicles were attacked by the nut devil, ma'am. And Aki's like, nah, he's lying. And this shit is so great, man. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> you know, he's attacked by the nut devil, man. The shit was crazy. You know, nuts are flying everywhere. His are de destroyed. They're crushed. <laughs> she asks him, so you guys think you can get along? They're like, nah, no way. Fuck this dude. She's like, good. I'm glad you're hitting it off. Because Denji, you're going to be joining his unit. He's literally like, yo, what? I already got enough troublemakers, don't I? She tells him, I told you when I put it together, right? Your team's an experimental one, operating differently from the usual method. As Aki asks, like, what exactly is Denji? As she says that Denji's human, but he can transform into a devil. Aki's like, I always thought, figured those stories were baseless rumors. As she says, he's special, which is why he's going to be receiving special treatment. Yo, and if I was Denji, I'd be like, yo, special treatment from you, please. But then she says, if he tries to resign or if he becomes insubordinate, Denji will be disposed of as a devil. Denji's like, what's that even mean? She tells him, it means we're working together until you die. As we transition to Aki saying that, remember, you're going to be living with me so I can keep an eye on you. Just remember, they said I can kill you if you try to run off. As Denji asks him, like, is Miss Makama a bad person? And Aki tells him that if you think that, then just give up on her already. Denji says, so, she's a good person then? And Aki tells him, of course she's a good person. She saved my life. As Denji says, I hope I get to hug her again. And Aki loses his shit. He's so heated. Like, wait, what? You did what now? <laughs> As we transition to my boy putting jam on his bread eating it for breakfast, and it's great to see. But yo, I gotta admit, Denji's a slob, bro. I'd be so mad if I walked in and I saw my roommate made a huge mess like this. Like, making a lot of noise in the tub, freaking falling asleep on the toilet. I'd be heated if I was Aki. But it's here we actually go on our first mission because a fiend has been reported in the East Nurima residence. And as they walk into the residence, Denji asks him, like, so what's a fiend? Aki asks him, like, you never went to school or some shit? He's like, nah, man, no, I've never been to school a day in my life. As Aki tells him that when the devil takes control of a human corpse, you get a fiend. Denji's like, doesn't that make me a fiend then? As he responds saying, no, fiends always have characteristic heads. You'll know what I'm talking about when you see one. As they bust in the door and we see the fiend and he's looking a little like total shit. Aki tells him that the devil controls the fiend's personality. You kill this one. Turn into a devil and show me what you can do. But instead of transforming, Denji actually just cuts his head off with the hatchet he has in his hand. As Aki asks him, yo, why didn't you use your devil powers? Denji tells him that when I kill devils with my powers, they get real messed up. So, like, I could have ended up like this fiend, so I kind of wanted to make it painless for him. Aki puts his head against the class and tells him, you listen to me. Fiends are just like any other devil. If you're hunting them, then drop the sympathy. My entire family was killed by a devil right in front of me. I've had drinks with the cops down below. They're risking their lives to protect their wives and kids. Everyone is serious about this except you. I'd rather make any devil I kill suffer as much as possible. The hell are you trying to do? Make friends with them? But Denji tells him, if there's a devil I could be friends with, then yeah, I would. Because I don't have any friends. As Aki lets him go and tells him, I'll remember that, as he walks out the room. As he gets revealed that Denji was just trying to keep the blood off the dirty magazines down there. Like, yo, our boys got priorities, I guess. <laughs> now, after safely securing the porn, he talks to Pochita inside of him and says, I'm pretty serious about this, Pochita. He says, I'm already living the dream like our bargain said. 
But my dreams might have come true already, but he must be chasing his as he walks to the window and looks down at Aki. I get to bathe every day, eat good food, and hang around with a hot chick? My life's a 10 out of 10, but it feels like something's missing. He's got to be on some revenge shit, and they're just protecting their families. I wonder if Makima has anything like that. As he thinks to himself, like, damn, I really want to touch her boobs, man. Then all of a sudden, he realizes something like, wait a minute. Touching boobs is a dream I gave up on a long time ago. But I've got a real job now. Could I pull it off? If I had the right plan and the willpower, then maybe? I found it. Something to be serious about. My goal is boobs. Can I just say again that I love Denji so much already? Yo, a man to my own heart, man. <laughs> it's so stupid. But what a great driving force for our main character. <laughs> As we transition to Makima telling him that, I'm assigning you a partner starting today, Denji. As a precaution, public safety executes patrols and smaller missions with two-person teams. Oh, by the way, your partner... She's a fiend. As we just hear, prostrate yourself, humans, for I am power. Are you to be my so-called partner? What a fantastic entrance, as Denji says. Wait, your name's Power, and you're a fiend? Should you even really be a hunter? And I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, Denji, do you really got some room to talk right now, my guy? Like, can you really say shit? <laughs> he literally looks at her chest and says, well, whatever. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> As Makima tells them that fiends, like devils, are targets for extermination. But power here is highly rational. I've mentioned this before, but the Special Division 4 is an experimental unit. The higher-ups will be looking to dissolve your team as soon as possible if you don't get results. I don't need to explain what would happen to you two if that happens, do I? As the two of them go out on patrol... And because Power's horns stand out so much, they have to go and patrol in areas without a lot of pedestrians. And she's kinda wild, cause she literally smacks him in the back of the head and says, Human, provide me with something to kill immediately. I am starved for blood. Denji's just like, yo, I can put up with crazy as long as she's hot enough. <laughs> but the problem is, they're not finding any devils. Power's like, yo, that's, that's likely my fault. Before I became a fiend, I was a devil that was feared by all. Demonic peons will flee the moment they catch my scent. Denji's like, yo, how the hell are we supposed to get anything done then? As he realizes that Aki set him up. But it's here that Power smells blood and runs off on her own as Denji has to chase after her. As we just see this one devil hunter calling it in like, yeah, we got the sea cucumber here. Yeah, it's the sea cucumber devil. What do you not understand by that? Look, I'm trying to say, as Power jumps off the building, materializes a hammer with her blood, which is dope as hell, and smashes this devil's head in. Exploding guts everywhere as she screams, Did you see? The kill is mine! As Denji just looks down at her and probably thinks to himself, like, Yo, she's really batshit crazy! As our episode ends. And I gotta say, guys, what a phenomenal episode today. This was so fun. I had such a great time with this episode. They've done such a good job of just introducing us to everyone already. It's really great. Now, I want to ask, like, did we go through a lot of chapters in this episode? Because it felt like a lot happened in this episode. It felt like we really did a lot. Honestly, so I'm curious about that. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, guys, I completely see why people love this series. This, this is great. I'm having such a great time with this show. I can't wait to bring you guys the next episode next week. And frankly, just to watch it myself, because this was, this was fire. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day, week, month, and year. Until then, deuces, have a blessed day, and yo, Chainsaw Man greatness. Let it continue. Until then, do